Shooting Sports Hawaii is being brought to you by X-Ring Security. On this episode of Shooting Sports Hawaii, Tracy's going to show us two project builds. All this and more coming your way now. On this episode, we will feature the 22 caliber. And the 22 caliber is extremely affordable and comes in a variety of platforms from pistols to rifles. There are even conversion kits for just about every type of firearm, so you can practice on the cheap. It's an excellent learning platform because of the less recoil that the Rimfire has. Excellent for beginners uh, not, not being gun shy and learning to anticipate recoil, learning the correct fundamentals for trigger pull and set alignment. It's less expensive ammunition, allows you to practice much longer without hurting the pocket. Olympian and you might know me from Top Shot. I will be giving shooting classes in May in Hawaii, but seating is limited. I'll see you soon. Mahalo. Gabby Franco's 2015 Hawaii clinics are being brought to you by X-Ring Security and Shooting Sports Hawaii. Today's projects are all about the Venerable 22. The 22 has many varieties out there, like this takedown model for example. With an aftermarket barrel and other trick components, it becomes lightweight and improved accuracy. First up is converting this standard model into something more modern. Today, we have a custom billet bullpup chassis from Jim Bunting Machine out of Washington State. Unlike other bullpups for our 22 that are made out of plastic, this JBM unit is heavy duty, painstakingly machined from solid blocks of aluminum. The JBM bullpup comes with many options available, from front shrouds with pick rails, a sling attachment, and can use both standard and bull barrels, and a solid trigger and rod assembly. The JBM bullpup utilizes AR pistol grips, so you can change them out to suit your taste. First begin by removing the front retaining ring and then the rear action screw. Now the whole action is removed from the factory stock. Then the two trigger housing pins. Remove the trigger assembly from the receiver. Next, remove the bolt and charging handle. We are changing out our barrel, so disassemble the V-block and remove the factory barrel. You can see the diameter differences between the two. We're also replacing the V-block retaining bolts. The new bolts from Real Steel Tactical are longer and has a shoulder so it centers the V-block more precisely to align the barrel. The new bull barrel goes in while the Real Steel Tactical bolts secures everything in place. We added a new catch latch plunger and extended magazine release. Next goes the new oversized charging handle and reinstalling the trigger assembly. The JBM bullpup stock has a unique design which comes apart in the top and bottom portion. You must first remove the six hex bolts and separate the two halves. Remove the stock's butt plate and be careful not to lose the guide spring. Next, we remove the trigger assembly cover and remove the trigger rod mechanism. Now you are ready to install the full assembly into the bullpup stock. Remember to reinstall the takedown screw. Add the top half of the bullpup and tighten down the six retaining hex screws. Then put back the trigger rod and tighten that into position. Now is the most critical step to adjust the slack from the trigger group. Test the new trigger from the bullpup position till the play is eliminated. Replace the trigger assembly cover and tighten the screws that hold it in place. When putting back the butt plate, make sure not to bind the guide spring mechanism. The overall length has to be a minimum of 28 inches, so we had to add the butt pad spacer also offered from JBM. We added the optional 3.7 inch vented forend with quad rail. And Dexter installed a new CR open sight. No more having to worry about batteries or front to rear sight alignments. Attach it to your rail and adjust your winded and elevation like normal.
That JBM bullpup build was a lot of fun. 